Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well and in this video today I'm going to be showing you how I do my daytime and nighttime skin routine. At the moment my skin is also recovering from having some acne scars. As you can see on my face, I'm just going to be showing you how I get rid of them. Let's go straight into it. So starting off, I like to use my Vaseline on my lips just to make sure that they're well moisturized because living here, my skin can get so dry, the water is so harsh. And then I'm just taking this cotton pad with some rose water and going to tone my face. I love to use rose water. It makes my face feel so nice and cool and just cleans it up really well in the morning time. This is also the daytime routine that I do when I'm getting ready in the morning. I like to use this rose quart roller. I think in the next video I'll actually go more into detail about how I actually use it. But I roll that all over my face and before starting I just go out and uh, spray my face again with some rose water from Mari Wodescu. I love this rose water. I've been using it I think for more than 10 years now and it's like a must have. You should be using it. So I'm just rolling this all over my face to activate and move around my parts of my face that's under. <laughs> In the next video, I'm going to just go into detail about like exactly what I'm doing. And then I just go in again, spray my rose water, and then here I'm using my hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. I have a video that I go into detail about these products. I'll put that here as a pop-up and also down below in the description box that you can go ahead and just check that video out. I did go into detail of the products that I got and what they're good for. And on top of that, I'm now using my niacinamide. Uh, I think it's an oil or a serum. Just putting that all over my face as well. And after I put that in, I'm just rubbing it and dabbing it into my skin to make sure that all of that product just gets real into my skin. Fanning it in because of course, after I put on each product, I like for it to actually dry and just really absorb into my skin and not just sit on top of it. Here I'm using my sunscreen. I've been using sunscreen since last year quite religiously and I can see a major improvement in the amount of time my hyperpigmentation actually like takes to heal, which is really good. Girls, dark skin girls, don't forget you need sunscreen, especially we do still need, I mean everyone needs, not especially, everyone needs. But I know for a long time I was just thinking, oh no, I don't need sunscreen. But now, yeah, don't catch me outside without any sunscreen on because uh, I'll put on first. The only thing I need to get better at, though I should say, is reapplying. But anyway, here's my skin, what it looks like. You can see some hyperpigmentation still, but they have faded and are fading really well, so I'm quite happy with that. And I just wanted to show you in the next few clips actually how my makeup looked after I put it on. Because of my new skincare routine, my pores have been minimizing like immensely and my skin texture is just great. So I just wanted to show you that quickly as well. And here I'm using this micellar cleansing water from Action. It's super affordable and a must have. It really is amazing and not too heavy on the skin. Uh, it doesn't have any kind of weird feel to it as well. It really takes off my makeup very fast, so I have a lot of good things to say about this. I believe I also only use, I think, two to three cotton pads to take off all my makeup off of my face. I love this micellar water. It's one of the things that I think also really helps my skin to just stay quite... Uh, quite relaxed and not too super active with acne so I'm really happy with that um, and it also does a really good job at taking off all the makeup as you can see and I'm showing you one of the cotton pads just using another one to take off some excess and all the other things um, that I had on as well <laughs> I like to go quite close to my hairline to make sure that I get that all taken out as well here I'm really just going in and unknotting my hair or taking that out of the ponytail I had it in because it was really tight that day. <laughs> and you know when you get home you just want to like take your hair out, be super comfortable and just relax. So that's what I was doing here.
and trust me I love wearing makeup but I love my makeup as much as I love like a good skincare routine and also seeing my skin just being less active and less marked with so much pigmentation and I'm just going to go ahead and dab my face in the towel and then put on a clay mask. I also have a video that I filmed last year that you can check out where I actually shared how I make the mask and also how I put it on my body. <laughs> I use this as a hair and also face mask. So if you want, I'll also put that video down into the description box and you can go ahead and check that out as well. What I do is just rub that all over and in that video you'll see me doing the same thing but a bit more into detail, um, giving you a lot more details on how I actually create it and do it and put it on. <laughs> and here it is. And now it's all dry. Look at that. <laughs> I was making fun of myself like. <laughs> It gets so tight that it just feels like you can't move so that's why I couldn't like even move my mouth but okay I'm just dapping my face here taking off um, any excess water what is also a good thing that I do sometimes is also leave my the water just air dry and that actually just helps to retain a bit more moisture I'm going in now with my favorite toning solution which is quite heavy the glycolic acid from the ordinary I've really been loving the ordinary products lately this acid I use on my face and sometimes it can burn to be honest a little but I feel like that's just when it's working and my pores are open and especially after I did that mask I should also mention that the mask I only do about once or twice per week. I don't do it every day because it can be a bit drying and a bit too heavy for your skin if you're not used to it. Finally, I'm going to go in with some Vaseline and then squalene on top. Again, I explained all the ordinary products in my previous video. I will leave the link below that you can go and check that out to know more about what these products are good for. And I just put that all over my face and rub it in. It's an oil that's quite heavy and nighttime is the perfect time to put this on. As you can also see, my skincare routine is quite simple, I feel. It's not too fussy, not too many things. Just exactly what my skin needs. I'm going to go in with my gua sha and just use that all over my face. I think again in another video I will just create one on the gua sha and also the rose quart roller and just explain to you what they are and the benefits of them as well. I do that all over and it's really helpful. I like the feeling and it just feels a perfect way to end the day and move around the blood and liquids everything that's under my face and skin so as you can see i'm also getting red in some areas from where i'm doing it because i am applying a bit of pressure as well but it feels really good it's not too um not too heavy on the skin it just it just feels right so that's uh that's totally fine and here I'm done with my skin. I'm actually just showing you what it looks like with the oil on. With the oil on, my skin just looks so good. And I'm just looking forward to seeing my skin heal even more to get that new trending glass skin. I'm now headed off to bed. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like to check this video out, go ahead and click here in this box and you can go straight to the next video. I'll see you in my next one.